everybody and welcome to my kitchen. So in this video, I'm going to be making some frijoles charros. Uh, <clears throat> so I, I already have the beans cooking. So what I did was I put it in a pot. Um, let me show you. I put it in the pot with water, salt, and a little bit of the um, nor the chicken nor and then I just cooked it it's it's gonna be done in about an hour so what I'm gonna do now is get the rest of the stuff ready so an hour before the beans are done I'm going to start prepping the other stuff so what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to add some garlic and I'm going to add some onion to that and then I'm gonna do this. I'm going, I have this bacon here, it's ends in pieces. I'm going to cook that. I'm going to cook some chorizo. I'm gonna cook some ham, cook the weenies. And then I'm going to dice these and we're gonna add that too. So I'll recap. I added beans to a pot. I rinsed them out with water. I added more water back in, and then I let them sit there for about two hours. Then I rinsed that water out. I added more water, and then I added the salt, and I added some chicken nor. Let it cook. It's gonna be done in about an hour, so we're gonna get this stuff ready. So I already added the onion. It's diced onion, and I added some garlic to the beans. And since I'm not making a lot, I am only going to add a small amount of the other stuff. I don't make a lot, like, just for us, because my kids don't like this. I don't know why. So it's just me, my husband, my son, maybe. So this is weenies. You're just going to cut this up. Um, I just got this ham, a bit of ham too. Okay, and then I'm going to clean this knife so that I can cut the rest of this. I'm gonna cut the jalapenos and the tomato. Okay. So, so what I did was I went and took out the insides of it. And you're just gonna wanna slice it like that. And I think this is just, just one. I bought two thinking I might need two, but I think I'll just use one. And then one tomato. And on the tomato, I'm gonna go and take out this too. Okay, and then we're just gonna also just cut this small too. So 
So if you're making a lot of beans, then you know you're going to use more of the ingredients. And you can omit some of these things like this takes, I add sausage too, but um, I don't have any sausage today, so I wasn't about to go to the store because I don't have time. So, but this takes sausage also. I'm just not going to add it. Uh, okay, so now I could see for the jalapeno. I think I'm going to add. another weenie or maybe half of it half of it is good okay and then we're gonna go to the stove because we're gonna cook the bacon and the chorizo so in a pan we're gonna cook the bacon first. Once your bacon is cooked, we're gonna add this to our beans. I'm gonna go behind here and add it. And then what I like to do with the grease from there, this is where I like to cook everything else. This is in And then we're gonna toss this in. Well, I cooked this for about five minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and toss this in. I tossed it in with the grease too because the grease gives it flavor because it's bacon grease so it's going to give it flavor and now we're just going to cook the chorizo and the chorizo is going to go in there too Okay, once the bacon, the chorizo is cooked, we're gonna stick that in there with the grease and everything. That's what gives these chato beans a lot of flavor. And we're just gonna mix this around.
And we're gonna let this cook huh, about 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. And that's it. And then I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, so let me put this closer over here. Here's your charro beans. They smell so good. And after about, I left them here 25 minutes, they're done. So the only thing that is missing is the sausage. Other than that, look at this deliciousness. So these are your charro beans. Thank you for watching. Bye.